Sometimes I think about forever. We use it in vain. A hyperbole, really. I've said it in times where I probably didn't mean it. There's a thin line between always and forever. You see, forever is constant, but always has an end. It's an ambiguous moment that shapes you. It has meaning. I was told that I'd have to deal with the stairs forever, that I'd be seen as an outsider. There's that word again. If I was alive 60 years ago, I'd probably have been told that I'd never be able to get married, never be able to comfortably fall in love. But we've come a long way. It's hard to see your existence debated in the news. In 2017, I always saw it. But it didn't last forever. voting against me having the same rights as them. Now they say, we support you, Alice, and we're happy for you. Yet I know they're lying straight to my face. We grew up hearing that words should never hurt us. We need to deal with it to be the bigger person. It helps us to grow. Words hurt me more than I realize. But is it so wrong to admit that? definitely has improved my confidence. Before her, I never would have been comfortable wearing something as simple as a pin outside of my room. She makes me feel so proud, so happy, content, like nothing can hurt me. I know that's not realistic, but it feels so genuine. I know she understands when I talk about the capitalization of Pride Month every year, how corporations turn everything rainbow just for June to get some sales and then immediately forget about us on July 1st. We're so underrepresented in the media. Even when I do see a character like me on a show or in a movie, there are always some gross stereotype that doesn't reflect who I am. She understands the way I speak and puts my words together in a cohesive way. She knows how I feel just by looking at me. She just fully sees me for me. I don't know what I'd do without her.
I don't think about all the comments when she's around. But when she's gone, it's all I can think about. It consumes me until there's nothing left. I knew falling in love wouldn't solve all my problems, but she makes me feel better. Even if the feeling is temporary, it's definitely noticeable. But what other people say also influences how I view myself, and it's not for the better. One step forward, two steps back. But it's still a step forward. We're getting there, and we've still got a long way to go. In the meantime, I can focus on myself, which I know is easier said than done. I'm not going to get anywhere by letting strangers drag me down. I shouldn't have to fight with myself to be comfortable. All I know is that I'm ready. Your move, society.